and clap Scott Barnes. <laughs> this should become like a Scott Barnes Tati challenge. Hi guys, assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Anaya, aka Modestry on social media. Welcome to my channel. I have literally just come off YouTube. I've caught up with all of my favorite YouTubers videos. I guess the best one was saved till last. I have just watched Tati's video. Scott Barnes, JLo's makeup artist, snatched Tati's face. He literally transformed her face. Guys, if you have not watched Tati's transformation by Scott Barnes, please pause this video, go and watch that, then come back on here and see this recreation. That's right, I'm gonna recreate it. Oh my god, I picked up so many tips. It was the idea of layering, but like layering in a different manner where you contour and highlight first. It was absolutely bizarre to me, but the final look, the presentation of Tati's face and just the coming together of all of the makeup, the way everything was just married together. I was like, I need to recreate this. This is Scott Barnes. This is the dude who's been doing JLo's makeup for the last 20 years. So you guys ready? Let's do this close up. Okay, so the first thing that Scott goes in with, which was completely bizarre to me, was without priming the face, he just went for it. He picked up the concealers and he was going ham on Tati's face. So he uses the Urban Decay All Nighter concealers, but I thought I'd switch it up and use whatever I have in my makeup kit. So for highlight, I'm going to go in with my favorite highlight concealer, which is the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. Scott just went in ham and I'm so scared to go in ham, but I'm going to do this because Scott, you've just given me life. Let's do this, guys. So he literally went in with no primer, no color correcting, which I found really, really bizarre. But you know, he's a professional. He knows what he's doing. For those of you that have been following me from day dot, you guys know that I am the biggest fan of JLo. Back in the days, I used to get told a lot that um, apparently my makeup looks like JLo's, which it probably didn't. And apparently I look like JLo, which I know I don't, but those kind of compliments are always nice. <laughs> he goes ahead and he highlights her chin area so i'm gonna do the same mm -hmm -hmm. and then he highlights her forehead area by the way i'm completely running out of this i do have a backup i just don't want to use it because i can get so much usage out of this still and then he runs it straight down here I'm gonna have a steady hand for this then he also showed a technique of running it down on the edge of the nose even his precision at the speed that he was doing it was perfection and he was talking about bringing the light right up to the edge because sometimes you just see like it's really bad nose contour tour and apparently you can look like you're behind bars and I, I get that because sometimes I do mess up my nose contour and it does look like I'm behind bars and he also ran it down here as well by the sides of the face and by the way please don't get scared because today we are going to go in with a lot of layers this is the idea behind music videos photo shoots and basically we're just recreating a JLo music video look slash Tati recreation okay then Scott goes ahead and blends out Tati's highlight points he just went ahead and he blended out everything and pushes everything everything up and outwards. By the way, the brush that I'm using is actually a Primark brush. I think it was only like one pound or two pounds. And right now I am so jealous of Tati. She's probably got the whole of Scott's brush collection because he's launched a new collection and I'm so halal jealous right now. Okay, and when it came to the edges, he was talking about being light-handed and literally blending upwards. So I'm gonna do the same. And there were moments where Tati has speeded up the video to speed up the process. And I was like, no, what are you doing? I do not wanna watch a speeded up process. I wanna catch every single tip that I can. Then Scott goes straight in with cream contour on Tati's jawline. And oh my God, that is another technique within itself. Now the brush that he uses reminded me of a painter's brush and it was kind of like small bristles. I believe that there is a dupe to that because I used to once use it for contour myself. It's from Lottie London. It has a orange handle. So if you guys can get a hold of that, then go ahead and totally get that. So I'm going to go in with my Zoeva 128 Cream Cheek Brush. I know it's angled, but I'm going to see what I can do and make do with this, okay? So for cream contour, I'm going to go ahead and use the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. I'm going to do what he does and I'm so scared because he uses so much product on her. We're going to forget for a day that I'm a blogger and we're just going to literally go ham with this. And he basically has a name for this look, which is Snatural, because what you're doing is you're creating all of this underneath. So he's snatching your face but making you look natural at the same time what a cool name this is not the way that i would ever do my makeup going in with contour first is a first for me i trust scott i loved the finished look so he is hoping we can do the same then he goes ahead and contours her nose with some kind of an angle brush from his collection but to make
make do with what I've got, I'm going to go ahead with my Zoeva 322 Brow Line Angle Brush. This is one of my favorite angle brushes. And I'm going to be very careful with this and chisel my nose. Even this is really scary for me, guys. Do you remember in my last video, I was like, I don't contour like this. I see you girls do this on the gram. Like, I'm so nervous, girls. And just to release the pressure off my hand, I was actually using my pinky to kind of rest it over here. And I noticed he did something like this, which is something that I always do as well. Then he uses the same brush to contour the upper a lip and the trick to apparently a fuller lip is not overlining it to death that's exactly what scott barnes said and then the trick is in the base of the makeup which is i suppose contouring above the lip he definitely does use a darker shade contour but i'm scared as it is and i don't want to go in with anything more darker than this contour shade so i'm happy right about now i just wish i could see up close exactly what he did around the lip area but i guess those are his techniques and it was just speeded up and i'm so gutted that it was speeded up tatty after this he goes straight into her chest area so I can skip that bit because we don't show chest on this channel. <laughs> For foundation today I'm going to use one of my favorite foundations which is the NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Stromboli. It is a slightly darker shade but I want to go for that really bronze glow that he creates on Tati's face. He does use a deeper shade on her so I'm going to do the same thing and really go ham with the melanin come through via foundation. He uses some kind of a dense brush from his collection but I'm going to go in with these two brushes over here. This is the Morphe M490 to. It's a small foundation stippling brush. And then to blend a bit more later on after the foundation goes on, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Face Bake and Blend Brush End. This was actually provided in the PR packages. Okay, and he goes in and calls it the art of painting. The way that he blends everything is amazing and I do not think that I'll be able to get it as great as his. You see how I'm blending downwards? I need to stop. He was literally blending into the contour, like so, upwards motions. I, I get it and obviously because this is a stippling brush I am going to have a stronger effect or a harsher effect which is why I need to make the switch to the other brush shortly once I apply but I can almost feel the way that he was applying was very gentle so we're blending but we're not blending if that makes sense we're, we're painting can you see how the circular motion just pushes everything in so we're pushing the contour into the foundation we're not blending but we're blending that's exactly what you said Scott upwards 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 this is really benign to me guys because I would usually do my brows first or my eyeshadow first and all of this is different. J-Lo is, is, is coming. The queen is coming to the MS face. I'm so gutted. I'm so gutted right now. I want to stop this tutorial. I cannot find any cream blush. So I'm just going to go in with my MAC Cosmetics powder blush in Melba. It's actually a super subtle pink, subtle brown. It just sits between pinks and browns I believe. Then he further goes ahead and adds a little bit more concealer to further brighten Tati's under eyes. I'm going to go in with Huda Beauty's Overachiever Concealer in the shade Nougat. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Face Conceal and Blend Brush for this. I'm going to be very light-handed, just pick up a little bit. Oh, why am I so scared? Oh my god, see? I just feel like I'm ruining it. Oh, wow. <gasps> wow! <laughs> Scott goes in with a clean brush and he marries everything together so he's just dabbing bringing it all together so that it all amalgamates and I understand that because when I was a makeup artist I used to do the same thing then Scott goes ahead and uses a translucent powder on Tati which is a little translucent and a little petal how the hell am I gonna find something like that okay so for this bit I'm gonna go ahead and use what I have in my makeup kit which is my hourglass radiant light illuminating powder or lighting powder in the shade ambient and then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it up with my Chanel rose powder. Okay, so taking some of the hourglass first, I'm literally gonna brush it gently over the face to bring in some more bronze. I cannot get over the blend. Like, I know it's a lot of work, a lot of layers. I understand that. And I also understand that it's media makeup as opposed to everyday makeup. But boy, this would really come in handy for bridal makeup. Makeup artists, please jump onto Tati's channel and watch this and then come back and watch my recreation. But still, I'm absolutely blown away. With my Chanel powder, I'm not gonna use the powder puff. I'm going to go ahead and use my brush. I'm going to gently hit it over the areas. We haven't actually used any brown contour powder. This is all cream. Mm. Then he goes ahead and uses highlighters. So I'm going to go ahead and use my favorite highlighter right now, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amreezy. Again, he uses his own fan br <gasps> This highlighter does this to me every single time. <sighs> 
Oh! So yeah, where were we? He uses his own highlighter fan brush. Then he goes in with a bronzer and he uses one of his amazing brushes and it just literally needs two strokes and Tati's contour was done. For bronzing my face, I'm gonna use a new buy which I picked up from Superdrugs, which is the matte bronzer from B Dot. And he uses one of his amazingly designed brushes and he's like, look at that, two strokes, done. But obviously, we're gonna need a bit more than that. But again, it's the technique, the contour, pushing the powder up. I've never done that before. I understand why it's important. It's a part of creating blend. Then he goes into lips. Now, usually I would always opt for a darker lip. I noticed with Tati, he opted for something a bit more lighter because he's actually following the contour, which you can't see around the lips, but it's there, it's underneath the foundation. So I'm gonna opt for something which is lighter than my usual darker lip liner shade. And this is from MAC Cosmetics in spice and then he's connecting the contour which is underneath and he starts from the corners of Tati's lips so it's almost like an overline I guess but it's not an overline if you know what I mean you're connecting the contours underneath you need to kind of make it round and not sort of peek at the cupid's ball we're going to keep it rounded then he goes in with a lip gloss on Tati's lips but I'm going to go in with a lipstick first and then top it up with a lip gloss topper I'm going to use the shade joyride this lipstick is definitely moisturizing creamy and so velvet and so matte looking but it definitely does not have longevity so it doesn't last very long for lip topper i'm going to use my new buy which is the collection glam crystals in the style kiss one so he said it wasn't to apply like this it was to apply like like so over the lip line to give it that more fuller looking lip over the edge of the lip can you see where you've connected the contour? Okay, mm -hmm. I get it. Okay, so for brows, Scott actually uses powder. I stopped using powder on my brows a long time ago and I feel really uncomfortable going back to powder today. But Scott, for you, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use one of my beloved palettes. This is my Morphe 350M palette. And I'm gonna pick out the darkest shade that I can find, which is this one. He uses a angle brush and just goes in with this soft powder and if you've noticed JLo's eyebrows have always been soft she's never had a boxed brow curly brows she's never had um ombre brows and the funny thing was that as he was doing Tati's makeup he literally he was politely savage to ombre brows and I know even myself I I love a good ombre brow and he was like who even does ombre brows I mean ombre brows don't even exist they're not even natural this is also not bad considering it's been years since I've done a powder finish hello Wow, look at that. Nice soft brows. Mm -hmm. I cannot for the life of me work out what he used on Tati's brows for her brow highlight. I'm just going to go in with some of my Amrezy and literally use it to make my brow highlight pop. Okay, so for the eyes, he's working on a eyeshadow palette and he picks out some of his top secret shades, which we do not get to see in the video. So I'm just going to imitate what he does on Tati's eyelids and go for the similar brown tones. And if you've noticed, JLo always has this sun-kissed look, whether it's on her eyelids, on her cheeks on her jawline so i'm going to go in with this shade as my transition but also it's quite a deep color so it just immediately deepens that socket and then to further deepen the socket i'm going to go in with this shade here guys it is coming together so beautifully i see it do you guys see it and then he uses like these non-offensive eyelids that's what he said non-offensive colors on her eyelids so it's a very subtle bronze it's just beautifully glistening and brown and gold so for my eyelid color i'm going to go with something similar from my pretty rich Too faced palette i'm taking the shade here called princess cut i'm going to use my finger to apply this color because i feel like shimmery colors just apply so much more better with the warmth of your finger and you can just literally help spread it a lot more faster and i'm gonna repeat the same to my lower lash line okay i can't see properly whether he's done this next bit but i've always studied jlo's eyelids and noticed that she always has like this beautiful smoky top liner so i'm gonna go ahead and create that look by myself i'm using my urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in the shade perversion one of my favorite pencils to date so creamy glides on so smoothly and then i'm gonna smudge it out with a pencil Pencil brush. This is like an effortless smudge, guys. Super quick. Smashed it, mashed it, fully car crashed it. For lashes, I'm going to use these beautiful fluttery lashes from Lux by TS on Instagram. And that's it, guys. This is the snatched JLo inspired look by Scott Barnes, her makeup artist. All of these tips and tricks work. Go and try it, guys. Go and watch Tati's video. Oh my god, it's all about layering. I understand. Oh my god, I actually feel like Scott Barnes has come and snatched my face and he's literally done my makeup for me today. 
today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel down below. It doesn't cost a penny. I shall see you all in my next video, inshallah. Until next time, be yourself. Keep it real. Assalamu alaikum. Always be honest, keeping in mind. Working, working. Every day we just working, working.